Hi, Nico from Voiceflow here. In this video, we will talk about our new, our new integration available on our uh, main repo. So this is the demos and examples. This integration is the latest one. So Voiceflow with Vapi Custom LLM. Uh, if you go to the repo link, we have a readme that will explain uh, the process to link your Voiceflow agent with Vapi. So Vapi allow you to use a phone number, for example, uh, making a web call from your web page, they will allow you to use a voice flow agent to make that happen. So that make that uh, conversation, voice conversation possible. The good thing with Vapi is not only you, you will be able to use the power of voice flow, but also on their end, you will be able to choose which, which transcriber you want to use. So you have different providers. So the transcriber will transcribe whatever the user says into a text. We will use that text to send to our VoiceFlow DM API, do the action with our VoiceFlow agent, and then return a text response. And that text response will be translated into an audio, an audio voice. So in that case, same thing, you have multiple providers you can choose from. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about how to set up the integration on your end. And we've simplified the process a bit. You will see again this in the readme, but on VoiceFlow end, what we are sharing in the repo is this very simple agent. This agent use a prompt a capture step to capture the entire user reply, saving this into the built-in last utterance. And we will use this last utterance variable into our prompt, which is answer user's question the best you can, passing the last utterance, which is the, the user question. We are using GPT 4.0, and that's pretty much it. We also have this extra workflow, which is the end call. So what we want to be able to do is on top of uh, answering user question using LLM, we also want to be able to trigger when the, whenever the users uh, want to stop that conversation. So for this, we have trigger linked to that end call intent. We have a bunch of utterances, but basically it's just like, yeah, sorry, wrong number, and we end the call or, okay, that's it, have a good day, goodbye. And this will trigger this message and end the, the agent in the current state. So this will trigger in our integration and on VAPI's end, we are using a function that is supported by VAPI and provided by VAPI, which is the end call function, and this will end the call. So let's dive in this, this code and let's do the, the process here, the, the setup. So I was saying that we've simplified this. So meaning that we have, I think that's four steps. So the first one is to import the, uh, the agent. So that's the core agent.bf. You import that on your workspace. And what we need is to get access to the API key and the project ID. So everything is documented here. Just follow the readme. On VAPI's end, what you will have to do is go on your dashboard. And you want to look below the profile where you have your name, IPI keys, and you need the private key for this to work. So you have to copy this as well. And when you get all the information, you want to create the .m file. So this is the command to copy the existing .m template as a .m file. And you want to, if you want, you can change the port you, you will need to uh, use your project ID. You can set the version ID to development or production. The VoiceFlow API key as well. And the VoiceFlow domain, you can set that to the default, so nothing, if you are not using a private cloud. Once you've done that, you can run the setup, so npm run setup. This will install all the needed library model. And then you can do a npm run clear. CLI or client. So npm run, I've already done the npm run, npm run setup. So I can run this and you will get access to this prompt where you can launch the server. So this is indeed if you've already set up your assistant, create your assistant, or you can create the assistant. So if I choose two, I will need an assistant name. I will need the, so let's try Nico, the endpoint. And again, that's part of the, the readme. You run the ngrok on whatever port you are using. So let's actually, let's add this here and do the 
and grok uh, http 300 and the forwarding url is what you need here so that's that's this url and this is what you will need to pass in that prompt and when you've done this so obviously i will not do it but i will just use random and your vapi api key so i will not share mine but pass your api key in there and doing so will automatically create the needed agent type on vapi so here you will end up with a new assistant set up with the custom llm url using your ngrok url so obviously the ngrok url is whenever you want to test that locally if you run that code on on your server you want to use the, the right uh, domain to reach that interaction or that endpoint. But we will also add the, or toggle the end call function and, and some needed settings for, for the assistant. And from there, if you at least click here once, you will run the assistant or the agent and compile the version. So if you use, if in your .m file, you set that to development, that will be, that will be just what you need click on a run. So just to compile the development version, if you choose to use the production version, then you will have to publish your agent. Once you've done this, you will be able to test your agent within the, the, VAPI, um, the VAPI dashboard or using also a phone number, for example, you can, you can purchase phone numbers from VAPI and test your agent over a phone call. So let's me just run this. Let's close this and do npm start. So npm start is just to start the server if you are not using the client. Let's try that. Hi there. Welcome to the Vapi voice flow demo. Ask me a question and I will try to answer it the best I can. Hey, do you know why the sky is blue? Yes, I can explain why the sky is blue. The color of the sky is due to a phenomenon called Rayleigh scattering. This occurs because molecules and small particles in Earth's atmosphere scatter sunlight in all directions. Sunlight, or white light, is made up of many different colors of light, each hey, with its okay. own wavelength. All, all good. Blue light um, has a thank you very much, and have a good day. Goodbye. And we've just ended the call uh, automatically. So um, this, is a, this was a short video to explain how to set up the custom LLM integration, how to create uh, a VAPI assistant with the, uh, the client and start testing your voice flow agent using the web call or using a phone call. So I hope this video was helpful and see you in the next one. Bye.